Congregator is a visual analytic tool set to analyze and identify the temporal communication patterns and dynamic network structure of a social network in the Dino Fun theme park. It synergizes the effectiveness of both graphical and statistical analytics to reveal important communication patterns. The tool set comprises of two parts, either providing an overview from different facets, the sender's spectrogram is a spatio-temporal pattern viewer for the top 200 individual message senders under a given condition. Group's spectrogram is the accumulated version of the sender's spectrogram, where individuals are grouped based on calculated cluster connectivity. The two directed social network graphs visualize the communication traffic and connectivity patterns on different time scales. One overviews the communication over three days, the other is a snapshot at a certain query time. We first explore the communication pattern by plotting the amount of messages, both sent and received chronologically. Tourists are categorized into 14 logarithm transformed groups according to the daily messages sent. For each category, tourists are also sorted by the total sent messages of the day for the top 200 senders. For each sender, the amount of messages sent or received are shown as column bar chart for every single minute, using color to distinguish sender's current location. Moreover, to intensify the visual effect, the brightness of the color is associated with the amount of messages. To better understand what's going on for certain location or certain period of time, we added a location filter and sortable as well as zoomable interactive features to scrutinize the detail events. Users can interact by clicking the link to switch between groups, to check patterns for specific location, to sort by amount of the hour sent aggregated, or to link to group's spectrogram. With the help of statistical analytics, we are able to generate a group version of the spectrogram. Using the similar categorizing, sorting, and visualizing method, now all the tourists that belong to the same group are integrated into the same graph. The stacked column bar not only shows the total amount of the messages sent during the minute, but also shows the proportion of sender's location from this group varying with time. While we can see trends about the locations of the majority of the senders within the group, we can compare patterns between groups. We use directed social network graphs to visualize the communication relationship, where nodes and edges represent visitors and communication connections. There are at most two possible curved edges between two nodes, which indicate that messages are sent in the clockwise direction. Each labeled node is corresponding to one ID, and its size indicates the amount of messages, both sent and received at a given query time. For example, on June the 8th, Sunday, at 12.05, ID 1278894 is the largest sent dominant node, therefore we assume it is a broadcasting station. There are other communication patterns emerged at the very same second. The IDs are grouped according to the statistics popularly used in social network analysis, namely modularity and between the centrality. Modularity detects the individuals with relative heavy communication, while between the centrality indicates the degree of an individual's centrality in the network. IDs with the same color are grouped in the same module. In the light of the simple version, an overall pattern can be used to visualize the grouping and major message flow. For example, ID 1278894 and ID 839736 are significantly larger than most of the other nodes for all three days. The external is also a large communication node. As an integration of graphical and statistical analytics methods, Congregator identifies communication patterns through the spatio-temporal perspective and directed social networks with statistical models embedded in the visualizations.